Hello tiny house loft ridders. I don't want to get political in my videos, but there's something that I've got to share with you. The clever plastic bag is a master of disguise because turtles and other animals mistake them for jellyfish and eat them. How good is that? Today, our New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announced that in 12 months' time, New Zealand will be single use plastic bag free, which is a giant leap backwards, in my opinion. It takes me back to when I was 10 years old or so, and I remember how life was. Um, we didn't have huge flat screen TVs. We didn't have uh, devices in our pocket with which we could access the sum total of mankind's intelligence. We um, played outside in the sunshine. We made things and we talked to each other a lot more. But some of the things I remember about being a kid in New Zealand are um, being green. Everybody was green. We didn't consciously have to think green. It's just the way things were. We didn't have half the chemicals that are in today's world. We didn't have half the plastics. Plastic was around, but it wasn't single-use plastics. Everything that was single-use was either... Well, shit, nothing was single-use. Everything was, everything was washed and made to do another round. We did not have single-use throwaway things apart from paper plates. And paper plates are still available, which is a great thing. But there's other things. Things that were in our da daily lives, like milk, soft drinks, beer, all came in glass bottles. These glass bottles were sent back for a refund and they were washed and they came around again. I remember adverts in the bottle stores saying, make your empties, do another round. The milk from the farmers would be taken and it would be pasteurized and homogenized and put into glass bottles with foil caps. And those bottles would just go round and round and round until they were either chipped or completely broken, and um, it was cost-effective. If it was cost-effective then, why can't it be cost-effective now? Other things were these, the, the big push that most people are moaning about is plastic bags in supermarkets. Now, we used to have strong paper bags, and people say, oh, they cost too much money. Well, not when you're considering the life of a planet. I mean, how much is too much money to um, save a planet? Um, we would use these brown paper bags for wrapping things that were being posted. We would um, cover our exercise books at school in them. We didn't own our textbooks at school. They were provided by the state in those days, and so they had to be looked after. If they weren't returned in good condition, we would be paying for them. So our parents covered these books, or our parents made us cover these books in the heavy brown paper that came from the supermarket as shopping bags. So recycling was a, was a big thing, although it was never talked about as recycling. It was just you make things work again and again until there's nothing left. Um, telephones, we... We had one phone per family in the house, bolted to the wall, in the hallway. If you wanted to use the phone, you had to hang out in the cold hallway. You'd get people who'd come out of a come out of the lounge, you'd go, oh, light's been left on, click, and you'd be in darkness down the end of the hallway talking to your mates. We survived. My daughter's got two gorgeous young boys, both in nappies at the moment. Um, these nappies are plastic bag arrangements with double-sided tape and pouches of chemicals that absorb moisture and odour. 
Whatever happened to a nice, clean cloth nappy drying in the sunshine? Cloth nappies were just so damn healthy in the old days. We should be going back to them. Um, and speaking of that, we use real solar and real wind power to get our washing dry in the old days. We had washing lines in the garden, in the sunshine. Sun and wind will dry and sterilize things beautifully. Back in the old days, if we had an older brother or sister, hopefully it'd be nice to have an older brother in my case, because uh, we were given the hand-me-downs. Shoes, shirts, pants, school uniforms, all that stuff that my older brother had got handed down to me. It wasn't worn, because you're growing so fast when you're a kid that things don't get the chance to wear out. Pity the parents who've got to go out and buy brand new pairs of shoes every six months to a year for school because the school either insists on it or the children just won't tolerate it. Um, television. Television was something we would sit down and watch for a couple of hours in the evening when television finally became available. We had one television channel that gave us a mixture of uh, news and entertainment and sport but we certainly didn't have the 30 or 40 channels that people have got available to them now that they can access wherever they are or whatever they're doing we had real stuff to keep us busy in those days um, we had no bubble wrap if you wanted to send a parcel somewhere you'd wrap it in scrunched newspaper and put it in a box and coped with that, the amount of bubble wrap that I see getting thrown away and all of these awful polystyrene beads and polystyrene snails and things that they put in for packaging. Where does all that end up? Now, garden tools. Seems like now you can buy everything that uh, has battery power and can snip and chop and sweep and blow in your garden we had a push mower we had hand operated hedge trimmers we had an edger for doing the edges that you pushed along and that trimmed the edges of the path um, post holes were dug by hand it's lawn lawn mowers nowadays um, there are lawn mowers that will go out and mow your lawn without you even being there Following on from these automatic vacuum cleaner things, it's just terrible. When we were kids, we'd drink from taps, we'd drink from garden hoses, we didn't worry about whether the whether it was BPA free or anything, because we didn't have to. BPA was not an issue before everything started coming in plastic bottles. And breakfast drinks where do they get off with that we had a proper breakfast in the olden days we didn't grab a um, fortified milk drink on our way to school and drink that we had time to sit down with the family and have a proper breakfast Refilling an ink pen. Fancy that. Nowadays, they just get thrown away, thrown away, thrown away. How many times do you pick up a pen nowadays and it just doesn't work? They don't last. Same with lighters. We used to refill lighters. We used to refill pens. We used to sharpen razors. So in conclusion, I'd just like to say how proud I am of you and everybody else who watches my stuff and subscribes to this channel you are the kind of people who are doing something about it and that's exciting that i get to hang out with people who are making change so thank you and let's hope 
that in the future more and more action can be taken against the polluters and the users the people who aren't prepared to contribute to this beautiful planet that we're lucky enough to have we haven't yet found another one that we can move to let's make this one last this has been tiny house and off-grid resources from new zealand thanks for listening hit the button down the bottom and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more of this kind of thing and hit the little bell notification so that you know when the next videos are coming up we'll see you in the next video